I'm looking back at the albums I heard growing up. Not the obvious ones like Tarkus or Take 5, just the deeper cuts. So here are the albums that made me. Ain't misbehaving, saving my love for you. So my stepfather, John, was from Columbus, Mississippi. It's just one town over from West Point where the members of Blind Melon came from originally. In fact, John's younger brother, Sanford, played a bit with those guys before they moved to L.A. and started Blind Melon. Anyway, John's taste and style of music were very much influenced by his proper Southern upbringing. So it's perhaps little wonder that his musical sensibilities included repeated listenings to the first album by Armenian-British Cypriot Dikram Gobalian, better known as Leon Redbone. If you don't know Leon Redbone, well, picture a slim gentleman with a Zappa-looking mustache, dark shades, Panama hat, three-piece suit, probably a seersucker, black tie, walking cane, and imagine him sitting in a folding chair with an acoustic guitar singing Tin Pan Alley tunes. With a draw much thicker than anyone born in British Cyprus could reasonably be expected to have naturally. That's Leon Redbone. Remember that duet version of Baby It's Cold Outside that Zoe Deschanel sings at the end of Elf? That's him. His first album, On the Track, kind of sets the tone for his old career. It's a blend of Great American Songbook, Country Blues, Jimmy Rogers style Early Country, all expertly played Piedmont-style blues guitar over the top, right? Definitely a unique performer. In fact, Bob Dylan is on the record saying that if he'd own a record label at the time, he'd assign Leon Redbone. Interestingly, once I got into high school and began regularly raiding my mom's record collection, I do remember being drawn to On the Track just for the album art, being a huge fan of Warner Brothers cartoons that I am. I remember putting it on one day just to hear what it could possibly be and saying, oh yeah, I remember this guy. My standout tracks from On The Track are Ain't Misbehavin' and My Walking Stick. Final analysis, is this an album I still like? It's got a vibe, yeah. Is this an album I still spin regularly? Not, not so much, no. And would I recommend On The Tracks? I think everyone should hear it once, just to get a feel for the guy's style. Maybe it'll speak to you, maybe not. 